Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be solving this beautiful equation, right? Pi to the x plus x is equal to pi. So what is the value of x that satisfies our equation? So let's get started. To solve this, I'm going to use Lambert function. So the W Lambert function says that um, a to the e times a times e, e to the a is equal to a. So we're going to make some transformations here in order to have something similar to this in both sides of the equation or if we can only do it in one side of the equation in order to isolate x. So I'm going to write the equation like this and then from here I'm just going to flip the equation. Okay, And I'm going to divide both sides by pi to the x. Okay? And then from here, we're going to have this one, right? This one comes up with the negative power, and this one here is 1. Okay, because I have here pi minus x, I'm going to write this to try to, I'm, I'm trying to get to uh, pi to the pi minus x. And then to have pi here, right, I need to multiply this by pi to the pi and divide by pi to the pi. But to simplify it, I'm going to multiply both sides by pi to the pi, right? So from here then, we're going to have this one here, right? Okay. Okay. Remember that we say we already had this, and then we have this one here. Okay. I'm just going to let this one here because, uh, you see, if I write this times e to ln of this, this is the same thing as writing this right so but we know that we can move this power multiplying this ln function so we're gonna have then this right okay cool well we have now that this one is different from this so there is something missing here which is ln of pi so in order to have ln of pi here multiplying this e we have to multiply both sides by ln of pi so multiplying both sides by ln of pi, we're going to have this one here, right? ln of pi here, this times ln of pi, this times ln of pi, and here pi to the pi ln of pi. We can bring this one here, it, this would be pi to the pi to the pi, but I'm going to let it the way it is, okay? As you can see now, this one here is equal to this one here in the power. So we can apply the Lambert function from here, right? Because we see that a e a this is a then and this is a so this is equal to a so let's move on and then we now going to apply the Lambert function in both sides of this this equation here and then we're gonna have this just w of this and w of this and then from here we are gonna have only a right which is pi minus x ln of pi and then here we got this and now we're gonna keep this because there is there are not much things we can do here so I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to divide both sides by ln of pi here. So we're going to have this, right? And then I'm just going to isolate x here. We're going to have now that x is equal to pi minus w function of this divided by ln of pi. Okay? So we have this. So guys, this one here is not something we cannot calculate manually. We have to plug it into Wolfram Alpha. I tried to bring some image here, but it was not working. So my apologies for that. But I'm going to uh, to put the value here. But if you you want to check, you can plug this 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 expression into Wolfram Alpha, and then you're gonna get the solution that I got. Okay. So the solution for this with three uh, three digits, it's gonna be this one here. Okay. So now x is going to be uh, pi minus this and then from here we just you just gonna do pi right minus this one here and then you're gonna have this one here 0 0.75857 uh, um, and I'm gonna write the answer with two digits only and then this is approximately 0 0.76 or if you can if you want we can write this as a fraction so x is approximately 19 over 25 this is very 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 this is a very beautiful solution in it okay cool well and then from here to check our solution we can check where this is our original equation and then we're gonna say then that this is pi to the um, 0 0.70 right 
Uh, getting back here, I'm going to use this one instead of this one to verify the 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 answer. So we got this then, and then is this equal to pi? Uh, remember that pi is three point uh, fourteen and some other uh, algorithms, and then this is it. Uh, and then I'm gonna write this answer pi to the zero point seventy six. I'm gonna write with two digits only. This is two point thirty eight plus zero point seventy six, and this is approximately right. Uh, this this actually gives us zero three point uh, fourteen, right? And three point fourteen, right, is approximately two pi. So basically. We're not using the entire solution, so but for to for for this for this checking, we can say that pi is equal to pi. So tell me in the comment what you think about this. Please f subscribe to the channel. In case you don't like my solution, tell me in the comment why you don't like my solution and how you could proceed to solve this. Okay. See you next video. Be safe. Bye bye.